Hi there, my name is Andrea and I'm a part of the SpedForms customer service team and I'm going to show you how to submit a support request. If you're on a page that has the go to drop down menu in the upper right hand corner, you can click on admin support. Or if you're on a page that is a V2 page like this, you can find it down towards the bottom of your hamburger menu. If you just click search or you can consider changing some of your, your search parameters here, it will show you existing and previous support requests. But we're going to add a new request. This top section is my own contact information that's already set within the system. You want to answer all these questions. Make sure that uh, question number two is really meant to only be the student's ID and their names. This section remains hidden once you submit the support request. If you have an educator or a teacher that's reaching out to you because they're having an issue, please, please include them. If they're having an issue with a specific form for a specific student, please, please include the name of the student. Or if it's happening to multiple students, please include the name of at least one of the students uh, so that we can look into it. It's also super helpful if you know what type of device they're using and also selecting their browser. That can have a huge impact on someone's experience. Question number six is where you actually describe the issue. This information is not hidden when we are emailing back and forth, and so we strongly encourage you to keep names and SSID Mars numbers out of this field. And then it's also really great if you can add an attachment. If we can have a better idea of exactly what it is that you're seeing, that makes our job so much easier. You'll see that it says click or drop files here to upload. So we're gonna add a file. You'll notice that the red trash can is there. We can remove that if we don't want to add that one. Otherwise, please know this is not attached just yet. You do still have to click the blue upload button to make sure that the document appears above the blue upload button. If you at that point realize that it's the incorrect attachment, you can always remove it. How you know it's successfully been uploaded is that it shows up above the upload button and then this box here is going to again say click or drop files here to upload. Once you have everything you need you can click submit. Let's say you get into the support request and realize you don't have all the information you need. Go ahead and click save. Then you can navigate out and go into the system get the SSID or whatever it is that you need. Uh, we'll go back to admin support and because we previously saved that information, you'll see that our attachment is still here. And if we had actually put in any information, <laughs> that would be here as well. So here is a completely filled out form. I filled out the student information, the person having the issue, version of SPED forms. I explained the issue. The more detail you can provide about how someone's navigating or how they access the page or what sort of data they're trying to save, um, all of those things are really great and help us answer your question more effectively. Uh, we still have that attachment added, so now I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Once you've submitted your support request, you'll be brought back to the list of support requests. If I wanted to check on the status of my report or maybe I've realized I forgot to add something, you can change your search parameters and click search. You'll see here the support request that I entered. It's been assigned and I can click the view hyperlink here and it will show me that section number six, the body of the support request that I entered is listed here. All of the other fields are hidden from your view. We can still see them on our side, but if you wanted to add an extra message, add an additional note and you click the send additional note, and it's been added. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care.